Hi YouTubers! Now, you may have heard already from a Pat Condell video that uh, this guy, Ali Chowdhury, who's a particular type of Islamic leader, if you like, he's a judge in some of the Sharia law cases that aren't really allowed in Britain, but um, he wants to implement Sharia law. He's been a bit disgusted now about this guy who's been doing terrorist offences, uh, obviously a big terrorist offence, in Norway. Think of that complete weird nutcase um, that has done terrible things, let's face it. But um, no more terrible, in fact, than many Muslims. But I'm not defending either. Violence is not the answer. We know that. And don't get me wrong. But the thing is, he has now decided that enough is enough. You know, and um, he's going to implement Sharia law in his local area in London and some of the Muslim areas. He's put up posters and said Sharia law is operating in this area and, uh, and the council's been going around taking them all down, you know, um, which is, is quite amusing, really. But if you look at the press conference and he's given a press conference and you've really got to have a look at this press conference because especially if you don't live in Britain and you don't really understand what's been going on with some of these fundamental Muslim ch types like Ali Chowdhury, have a look at it because it's very easy to judge people like Pat Condell and some of the things he says. But you really you've got to look at what they're saying. And this is the perfect opportunity because it's an hour long press conference and it's, it's some of the worst things I've ever heard. It's appalling. If you can't make it all the way through, just give it the first 10 minutes. I've got the feeling you'll be hooked to watch a bit more or just um, turn it off in disgust. But anyway, have a look at it. In, in this conference, they say things uh, obviously about this Norway killer. And of course, that was all out to have a go at Andy Chowder and his lot. Um, however, he wants to now implement Sharia in Europe. It's going to happen, he says no matter how you look at it, so it's going to be very soon and uh, it's going to start in his own little backyard. Now, um, it says in the Quran apparently the Muslims should not live with non-Muslims, should be completely segregated and only through Sharia law can this be possible. So um, that's it, got to have it because of that, you see. Um, so it's apparently something that was told to them by God or Allah uh, and it's a uh, What's the word? Uh, it's a prophecy, supernatural prophecy, uh, and therefore has to happen. Yeah. Anyway, no more democracy and freedom, drugs, alcohol, gambling and smoking. Well, I, I'll be honest, there's no need for MPs then, is there any of that? But uh, So that, that's it, that's all out, no more of that. Well, of course, we'll think about that for you, honestly. No. Uh, extremists are apparently intimidating them. Can you imagine? Being intimidated by extremists. No, no um, I, I don't know. It doesn't give any examples, just the guy in Norway. But um, they've got to be on the lookout. So, so because they've got to be on the lookout, they have now got to train up their children to fight. Warriors of Islam. Warriors of Islam in Britain. So that they can fight for Sharia law. Uh, literally. And Okay, so it's going to make us all, apparently, and this is, this is great, safe from extremism. That's right. Yeah, we'll have lots of Islamic warriors on the streets making us safe from extremism. It couldn't make it up, could you? But anyway, he talks of occupation of our lands. Of course, he's talking about, when he says our lands, he really means occupation of places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Which is interesting, because when you try and get rid of the guy and kick him out, he's going, oh, no, don't kick me out, they'll kill me. Um, or... <laughs> He seeks asylum, you know. So it's just a bit odd, really. Um, when he says our lands, he, he really doesn't mean Britain. Although he tries to fight for Islamic rights in Britain. So anyway, that's beside the point. Let's, let's leave that alone. Um, he wants the separation of Muslims from British law. Well, uh, he's not going to get it, let's be honest. Um, I'm sorry, if you break a law in Britain, you break a law in Britain. Of course... In some ways, they already do have a certain separation from British law. After all, I, I for instance, um, would not be able to cut the throat of an animal, for instance, because I'm not from Islam. Uh, that would be considered cruel. Um, I'm, I'm not allowed to have several wives, um, because I'm not a Muslim either. 
But anyway, that, that's just Earth. Sometimes, you know, we really ought to repel them laws, I think. Uh, democracy and secular, secularism is a cancer. That's what some of the things said. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, and unlike, I suppose, like Islam, that's not a cancer, is it? No. Right, they're concerned for rape. They're concerned about rape in London. Can you believe that? Can you believe they're concerned about rape in London? Now, in, under Sharia law, if a woman turns up and says, I've been raped, they go, where's your witnesses? You haven't got any, have you? You haven't got any witnesses, so you're admitting you're a filthy sexual adulterer. Right, take her away, give her some lashes, then stone her. You know, uh, no wonder there's not really a rape problem in, in Islamic countries. Or at least, they're not reported. Yeah, anyway, um, right, Christianity led to the Dark Ages, apparently. Well, it's true, Christianity did lead to the Dark Ages. They were doing horrible things. They were chopping people's hands off and heads off and, and burning witches, uh, basically taking all the pleasure out of anybody's life and calling it a sin, and, and then, of course, beating them up if they tried to do any of the pleasures of life. So, um, it's funny really, you know, you can imagine under an Islamic society that things would be much different from that, wouldn't they? I don't know, it's just a quick video because I had to say something. Um, I haven't got the wit of, of Pat Condell, unfortunately. But I want you to have a look at that video. Um, and I'm going to put a link up to it. And let me know what you think because it really is quite shocking. And uh, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm quite pleased they've made this video. At least at last you can have a look at it and say, oh yeah, I can see what they mean now. If before you thought a lot of people were just talking about this Islamification as, as nonsense. So have a look anyway, and uh, peace for now. Speak to you soon. Bye.